And people with PCs aren't the only ones who need a computer device. Computer device. After the break, Nerds on Call is here to help you if you've got a Mac. I need help. I gave mine away. I gave my Mac to my assistant. I was done. I'm a Mac lover. Bring I, it on. I'm done. I Bring just, it on. I use this. I can't get through my phone. Apple <laughs> And a break. I just know. want the liver transplant. Yeah. You know, Apple lovers say the Mac computer is way better, way better it than is. your average PC. It and is. And while their programs are there to help you, PC become, I'm sorry, help your PC become faster, you can make your Mac faster. Now, I didn't know that. about that. Yeah. Chris Chapin with Nerds on Call joins us live to explain how you can maximize your Mac. Hi, Chris. Hey, dude. Hey, good morning. How are you guys doing? Good. Now, I have a PC. Uh, Don has a Mac. You have a Mac. I gave my Mac away because um, <laughs> I could only use it for two things. It was music and poker because I couldn't figure out the rest. And now he took away poker, so it's music. Help me. Help me. Here's my first question for you as, as a Mac owner and a Mac lover. Seems to me this whole thing with the name iCloud, didn't Windows just come out with the whole to the cloud thing? So why has Apple got the same name as, as Windows does? They should have called it the mist. Um, I, I, the, the cloud is kind of a, a moniker, and I think a lot of people are making a push to get there either first or do it better than the rest, but essentially we're all going to move into the cloud at one point or another. So the cloud is like yesterday's Ethernet. Yeah, yeah, just it's the internet so that it's not stored necessarily on one device or one computer. So, can okay, I let's impress you guys that I do that? Yeah, yeah, yes, okay. internet. I, that's, I know everybody's at home. Little old school. Yeah, right, let's baby. talk about, uh, about Macs, people who have them, and, and ways you can maximize your Mac. Um, one of the, the first things about Macs is that they're fast, they just work. And if we want to keep it staying that way, one of the first things we can do is go into System Preferences, uh, and then after System Preferences, go into Accounts. And what we're looking at here um, is login items up here on the right hand. And as we use computers for a certain amount of time, stuff gets kind of uh, bundled up in there, like Skype and Photoshop and programs like that. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. we can remove these so that they boot up faster. All right, I'm so it says we've got scared. remove startup uh -huh, items. Yeah. You say get rid of the bloat. So we all do that. Even on a PC, we, we just kind of, you know, start bogging that. ourselves down with the junk that we've saved in there. Unused programs, stuff like that. Tell, tell them. Wean off widgets. Can what you still hear us, Chris? No, no. Uh, I don't oh, we think got a, a Palmadine situation right. happening now. Uh -oh. Butter, butter, butter. You know, but let me ask you a question. Now, that means that Mac or somebody on their end is going to go into your computer every now and then and clean up your stuff for you. Well, I think they're, you know, hoping that you, I, mean, I think what I'm getting from him is that these are things that you could do at, with, at home with your Mac. But if you if you work with a thing like Nerds on Call, they can go in there and do it for you remotely. I'm they still a big believer that Big Brother's watching. And I'm pretty sure I'm that saying. when I turn on my cable or satellite box, there's someone in the, on the inside going, oh, he's just turned on you. PN. I got the script. <laughs> Here it is. You have your Mac at the end of the bed. At night when you go to sleep, somebody cuts it on and they're watching. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm thinking.